Well, here we are to some answered questions. The question that was posed to me in my direct messages was, Hi, my name is Joanna. I'm vegan and raw, 80%. I follow you as you are my <laughs> inspiration. Thank you, Joanna. I just saw your video with Dr. Brian Clement. I'm listening to him a lot, but I'm so confused as I was eating lots of fruits and he said now that we shouldn't because they're hy hybridized. What can you advise, please? as I'm getting scared to eat fruits. All right, here's the deal, Joanna. There are a million do's and don'ts and yeses and no's and rights and wrongs, and yes, so many of our fruits are hybridized. And uh, actually, I personally think that most people are eating way too much fruit just for the natural sugar. But so many people, when starting on your raw food journey, it's kind of like the natural segue is to eat lots of fruits because they're very available and very easy. And, you know, they kind of emotionally fill us even with that natural sugar. So here's the deal. I would not eliminate the fruit. Um, I'm at the stage of the game where I have eliminated a lot of fruit only because I am 72 and the glycosins do age you. And those of you who know me know I do everything I can to uh, you know, keep the ag aging from going at the rate that it is for most humans at this time and, and place in our world. But what do I say about fruits? Do you know what? If it's going to be the bridge to help you stay raw until you're ready to go to the next level, go for it. You know, because it's going to be better than eating a Snickers candy bar. It's going to be better than a lot of the foods you could eat. And it will definitely, I feel, help you from sliding backwards. Too much sugar? Absolutely. But to do such broad-based yes and no, good and bad, when you get into the raw world, I think you have to find the foods that are going to help you bridge the gap and stay comfortable because it's not about necessarily the end result anyway, it's the process to get there. And as long as you make the process joyful, you make the journey fun and exciting, and you continue to learn and improve and don't get stuck anywhere. You know, here I am at 72, vegan 50 years, and I have to not get stuck and continue to learn and change. So there's my answer. I don't think there's a a definitely right or wrong as to being 80%. I think if you've been vegan for five years, maybe you might want to slow down. Maybe you might want to go for more fruits that we uh, know aren't hybridized, but I wouldn't make it a negative where you can't eat fruit at this point. So anyway, thank you for your question. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I answered your question. If not, DM me and tell me you need more. And remember, if you don't take care of your body, the most magnificent machine you'll ever be given, where are you going to live?